My 2017 was actually very good. Um, I learned a lot of things. It was like a lot of lessons learned. Like, you know, everybody wants to evolve. Everybody wants to um, elevate themselves. And I learned a lot of stuff. Um, I feel like I've matured more in 2017 than any other year. Mm. So I'm ready for 2018. Let's go. So you would say overall it was a positive year for you? Yes, it was. Of those lessons, what do you think the biggest one you learned was? The biggest lesson I've learned was to love yourself, know your worth. That's the biggest. Because sometimes in life, we seem to, I wouldn't say, like, neglect ourselves, but sometimes we seem to put other things before ourselves and which can make us fall back, you know what I mean? So I'm just learning to love myself and I love myself. What's one thing you're leaving in 2017? Could be a variety of things. These fuck one? niggas. <laughs> what is your definition of that? A fuck nigga? Yeah. A fuck nigga is a nigga with the wrong intentions, okay? Manipulative, conniving, fucking cheating ass whores. That's what a fucking is. They don't have any, you know, they're not trying to help you evolve. They're more of like taking you, sucking you dry of their whack ass energy that they live in. So that's a fuck nigga. How often do you meet these type of people? Fuck niggas. Fuck niggas are around every day. I just met one coming here down the street. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no. Um, I try not to get close to fuck niggas. But sometimes fuck niggas are very, how can I put it? They put on a facade so you don't know they're a fuck nigga until you meet meet them and get to know them. And then you realize, oh, he's a fuck nigga. Yeah, so. Mm. What are some signs? <laughs> of a fuck nigga? Yeah. <laughs> okay. The signs of a fuck nigga is somebody that, if you can catch this nigga in a lie, if you could... If you can basically catch him in a lie, if he can tell you one thing and you're believing it, okay, whoop de doo but then he says something else, you know, it's like he's lying, okay. So a liar, um, a person who doesn't take care of their kids is a fuck nigga. Um, a person who, I don't know, I'm all about energy. So if you're around somebody or a man or something and he drains you dry, you feel less than you were before you met him, he's a fuck nigga. You have to pay attention to energy and vibes. Moving into 2018, right? Are you seeing more of these type of guys out there? Oh, honey, no. It's the same amount that you've seen in years past. There's less of them, or what? What do you? How do you? What's your perspective? No, on? um, I. Is this getting worse? Are they multiplying? No, it's not multiplying because I'm not allowing myself to deal with those type of men. You get what I mean? Like I get I get that part. But what I guess I'm saying is just in the world today. Is there a lot of fuck yeah. Yes, it's a lot of fuck niggas. Yes. But is it more of them? Is this becoming is there more a of, trend? I don't want to say a trend. I'm just saying are they guys kind of said it earlier, are they multiplying? Is this is this ha is this happening more often? Are you seeing this more often? I know you're not trying to s surround yourself with it, but are you seeing it more? I mean, like right now like I'm elevating, so no, I don't see it as much because where I'm going, those type of niggas are not there. You get what I mean? You know, if I was to like to dim down my light and I was to like settle, then yeah, I would probably run into these type of niggas, but they're all multiplying, you know? They're all multiplying. Fucking niggas is multiplying, you know? But I don't really see them as much because, you know, I'm going up here, you know? Can they ever reverse? Like... A fuck nigga? Yeah, can they... No. Once a fuck nigga, always a fuck nigga. Seriously. <laughs> yes, Moss. They can't be changed. Have That's you, what's in them. Have you tried to change one before? I did. I have. And how did that go? How did that turn out? It drained me dry. <laughs> it drained me dry. So I don't have any more room for it. What's one thing you're leaving in 2017? You know what? What I said I was gonna leave in, I said I was gonna stop drinking. I mean, I said that, 
I feel that sometimes. But some days I'm like, fuck it. Why not just drink? It's fun. You have one life to live. Why would I just be sitting around here like a fucking robot? Like, don't drink, don't smoke. Like, no. But I said I was going to leave it, so... Let's see how it goes. People suggesting this to you? Hey, Fuck no. Enough drinking for you, Amber. <laughs> when I get naked on the internet, maybe, but <laughs> no, I just want to do it for myself. Um, I don't drink that much, but like when I go out, if I drink, I keep drinking. You know, it's like, okay, one shot's not enough, five shots not enough, ten shots not enough, until I'm like out, you know? And it's like, okay, it's fun until the next day after. And the next day after, it's like, fuck, why did I drink, you know? So it's like, I'm tired of the next day days. I'm tired of having the, the day after days where I'm like, oh, fuck, you know? Why not just limit the drinks? Maybe not Cause cancel I can't. drinking all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. It's not that easy. It's well, fun. Why do you drink in the first place? Is it just like getting over nerves is it like a party type of thing just for a vibe setting? it makes me feel good like it does it makes me feel good like i'll have a shot and i feel good like it's just the warmth you know the alcohol gets my body and i'm just like i love it it's weird like do you think i'm an alcoholic i don't know how because often i feel that way no i wouldn't say that how okay. often do you drink though like Twice a week. No, I wouldn't say you're an alcoholic if you're just drinking twice a week. Twice a week. Two times a day. Or like yeah, when I'm in the club. Or when I'm in the club, that's when I'm like drinking. How often are you in the club? Like once a week. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say that's alcoholic. Uh, maybe somebody watching this can comment and say, see if that's, an, if that's a sign of alcoholism. I don't see it as a sign as, of being alcoholism, but maybe okay. somebody else would, would beg to differ. Okay. Let's see what they say. I, I, I want people to comment and, is Amber an alcoholic? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, comment right now. Let us know what you think. You better fucking say <laughs> no. If you could redo one thing over again in 2017, what would it be and why? Um, if I could redo, um, I've messed out on a lot of opportunities, a lot. Um, if I could redo, like, the opportunities I've missed is because um, I had, like, personal issues going on, and I wasn't able to follow in, you know, to proceed with the opportunities that were given to me. Um, I regret not taking those opportunities. Like, I regret, you know, sometimes you don't want to take this opportunity because you feel this way. Or it's like, well, I don't want to go because my, you know, my hair is not done or something petty, you know? Or I don't want to do this because my nails are not done. But this is a major rap dude's video that wants you here, you know? And it's like, well, I don't want to go because of this. I, like, stop second guessing things. Like, if I could redo anything, it would be to just go for it. Instead of sitting here second guessing, you know, just overthinking situations, just do it, you know, do it. Cause not a lot of girls get the opportunity that I get, you know, a lot of girls don't get to be where I am, you know. Not saying that I'm further than most, but a lot of girls don't get the opportunities that I get. And I just wish that I could have, you know, went with them, you know. What's the biggest opportunity you missed this year, 2017? The biggest opportunity I missed this year um, was to, like, when it comes to, like, videos and stuff, like, I was supposed to do Gucci Man's video. I was supposed to be in Doll's video, Yo Gotti's video. You know, like, not saying that they're the best, you know, of the best, but in this age, they are. You know, they are. They really are, like... The billionaires, you know, I was supposed to do a Migos video, but the timing was wrong. And I think about it sometimes. I'm like, fuck, you know, like not just to be around them. No, but for myself and my career, like that's exposure for me to be in their video because they're like the hottest dudes. You know what I mean? It's like, fuck. But, you know, things happen. 
2018, like I'm pretty sure it'll be better, but. Have you gone and watched the actual final videos that you didn't, that you weren't part of and see like what you could have been in and that sort of thing? Yes, I have. And the thing about it is the girls that they choose are beautiful. Like I would never hate, you know, I'm, I, I would never be mad, you know, cause it's something that I had the option to do and I choose not to do it. So every time I could look back at a video and it's like, fuck, I was supposed to be part of that. I'm always like happy, like, damn, at least a bad bitch got to be, you know? At least they picked a bad bitch. It's supposed to be me, whatever, but at least they picked another bad bitch. I mean, the bitch don't look better than me, but at least they picked a bad bitch, you know? What if it was an ugly girl? <laughs> what would you have thought? She's ugly. Fuck. Like, okay. Damn, they really needed me after all. What's the pettiest thing you've done in 2017? Oh, shit. Small. <laughs> Um, I'm not petty, so I don't have a lot of petty activities, but let's see. We don't have to say names here. Okay. Petty. What did I do? Not enough to pick one? <laughs> or too many it's, things to pick? No, pick. no. Um... Oh God, small, I'm scared. <laughs> Don't answer this question, then you can pass. Next. Next question. Okay, um, when it comes to the new year, some people make resolutions, some don't. Do you? Um, no, I just try to block out all negativity. Like if I was with you in 2017 and you didn't help me evolve and you're like very negative or it's something that I don't like about you. I try not to bring you into 2018. So I try to cut them people off. But then I'm so genuine that I end up carrying that same load in the next year. And it's like, when am I gonna cut these folks off, you know? And I try to, but I'm so genuine and I'm so soft-hearted that like, you know, I give people too many fucking chances. So this year I'm not giving nobody a chance. You fuck with me once, that's it. That's cut the fuck off. That's it. As far as 2018 is concerned, anything we can look forward from you for the new year? Anything that you're willing to share with us? Stay tuned for my new sex tape. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, 2018, I have a brand. Um, There's a little bit of truth in every sarcastic <laughs> joke, so... I'm just putting that out there. Slate. <laughs> if this nigga exposed it, then yes, I have a sex tape going soon. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, like, um, <laughs> I have a brand. It's called Gliss Eye Candy. It's like luxurious, you know, fancy, you know, um, dress up shades that girls like. If you see girls like wearing the hot new shades, like the two tone the ombre, rhinestones around the rim, you know, that's what Gliss is. So I'm trying to put that out there. And I have hair extensions too, it's called um, Gliss Hair Extensions. So, you know, girl, come get your weight for me. Is that what you're wearing right now? Yes, I am. <laughs> is that something people can purchase right now? Yes, you guys have to go to www.amberalexa.net and then go to shop and then you can buy from there. The hair? Yes, and the shades. The shades are out now too. Yes. 